All right, we're here with Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse, the legend. What's it like with all the media around? A different vibe for sure, right? Yeah, 1,000%. Uh, this time being here in Singapore, the restrictions are a lot better, you know, so we know to have breakfast with my teammates, go swimming, do different things. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, and, um, I asked you a little bit about you here against Adriano, but uh, I want to get your picks for the other two, um, some of the other title fights. What, what do you think about Stamp and uh, Angela in the main event? That's also another interesting one. You know, Stamp Fairtex, I mean, watching the video of her being a kid, you know, getting ready to fight, it's like nothing that I believe Angela Lee is going to bring to her is going to scare her, you know? But she does have to be uh, mindful of Angela Lee's grappling skills, right? So. I think, you know, Fairtex can get the, the job done. It's not going to be easy. And once again, you know, I think either one of those guys, either one of those females can win that fight. And um, what other title fight are you looking forward to most on the card, if you can think of one now? Yeah, the Subban versus Marat Gregorian. It's going to be an amazing fight. Big fan of Marat and Subban. Uh, two of the best world, uh, two of the best in the world of kickboxing and striking and Muay Thai. So I'm super excited about that as well. Are you, are you feeling a lot of extra buzz around this fight? And is it kind of funny to you that with all your accolades, all the titles you fought and fought and defended, it's something something of a, you know, not going to demean it, but like a freak fight, you know, a freak show fight, a special rules bout. Is, is it funny to you that this is getting the most buzz maybe for your whole career? You know, I, I think, you know, it's definitely one of the, uh, one of the fights that is getting a lot of buzz in my career, and I think it's just because it's something different, you know, against, you know, Rod Ting, right? You know, if Rod Ting wasn't the athlete or the fighter he was, it might not have the same type of, you know, buzz around it, but everybody knows when Rod Ting goes out there and fight, he always brings it. Each time I go out there, I bring it, so it's, you know, that's why fans are super excited about it. Yeah, and I think we talked about it briefly there. Um, the, the new title belt looks pretty good. Um, how, how focused are you after this on going and making another title run, and how quick do you expect to get back to it? Yeah, absolutely. After this fight, win, loss, draw, uh, the goal is to get back into the mixed martial arts, which I'm really, that's my bread and butter, and then maybe two or three fights and get right back up there uh, to channel, uh, challenge for the title. Depending on if it's Adriano or Shuyo Wakamatsu, I know those guys, uh, Kyra Akhmatov, he's been on the win streak. Uh, there's other guys in the flyweight division that have been working their way towards that title, so I had to get myself back in there and just start going after it. Yeah, does it annoy you a little bit that um, you feel like you've lost a bit of that shine when you came in, everyone was buzzing around you, you were the biggest star in one championship, now maybe we've got Angela here as the main event in the stamp. Absolutely not. I, I never been a, I've never been the type of athlete to try to seek the, the, <laughs> the, the people's approval or search for that spotlight, you know? Rashad Evans said it the best, the spotlight moves on everybody, right? Right now, it spotlights on Stamp and Angela Lee, right, rightfully deserved. And then, you know, next card is gonna be somebody else, gonna be somebody else. And then eventually, if, if the spotlight, if I deserve the spotlight again, I'll be back in the spotlight. And, and you came in quite, quite a high profile switch, but so did uh, Eddie Alvarez. Um, what do you think of his story so far in one? And do you know when he might be back? Do you guys speak much? I know you're quite close. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Alvarez is doing good, you know. Uh, a lot of people forget, you know, yeah, we are athletes, but first we're, you know, a father, husband, um, you know, he has, uh, I think he has three or four beautiful children, and he's married, um, he's got a lot of other businesses going on, he'll be back in here, and you know, this is a fight business, right, we're going to win some, we're going to lose some, at the end of the day, you know, our, our ultimate goal is to be able to show something after we're done fighting, and I think he'll get back in here, back in there as soon as he's ready to. And uh, there was a huge, weird story last night. Uh, in your old organization, um, you know, with uh, um, Masvidal and Colby outside the steakhouse in Miami. Uh, what do you think in general of that kind of thing in mixed martial arts? And are you glad it, you don't really see that sort of stuff in one championship? Yeah, the, the unfortunate thing about that is that you have two grown men fighting each other at a restaurant. Well, one sneaking up on him. And it's like, you have 25 minutes, you guys fought. When it's done, it's done. You leave it there. You lost the fight, fair and square. Now, you're about to get felony charges, you know, pressed against you. So it's like, you know, do I think it's cool? I don't think it's cool, right? It's I've never thought it's cool. Uh, just people fighting in general outside of, you know, competition. Yeah, and you're, you're on the stage there with the guy who beat you. What? How do you have? Do you have respect for opponents who have beaten you? You know, what's that kind of like when you bump into him around the hotel here? Well, who? Uh, 
Uh, you know, oh, so. yeah. I, I mean, I've always had respect for the people I beat. I mean, shit, I went to go see Cole play with Joseph Benavidez. <laughs> um, you know, when I see Domino Cruz, I say, why'd you suplex me, dog? Why, why'd you do that, right? So, for me, it's a business. It's, it, it's, it's sports. Um, even guys I've lost wrestling matches to, I, when I see them, I'm like, that was a good wrestling match back in high school. So, for me, Adriano, he's a class act guy. Uh, love his style. Love him as a person. No hard feelings whatsoever. All right, and what's even, going on? even when I see Yuya Wagamatsu, I choked his ass out, and <laughs> we're still cool. I, I saw him the other day. He was on the pool. Saw his, uh, I believe it's his wife or his girlfriend, and he was gonna show me his, uh, his child, but his child's running off doing his thing. <laughs> and your family all here as well? No, they're not. They're at home. My wife, my wife don't do this COVID restriction. She be like, <laughs> I got negative test, right? Okay, I'm gonna go do whatever I want. Thank you, bye. So she's at home with the, uh, the kids. Has it been a little bit easier this time with the COVID side of things because Singapore has relaxed slightly? One thousand percent. You know, the biggest thing that I feel the difference with this fight, lead, lead up to this fight, than the last one is, you know, I always try to come here and give myself ten days, eleven days. Uh, ahead before the fight for acclimation to get used to the time zone change but coming here just being stuck in a hotel room for 10 days and then going out and competing they want you to get sit back to the hotel room this is different we're going to the pool we're hanging out with our, our teammates we're eating so it's way better all right prediction then what are you going to do on saturday i'm going to go out there and fight i mean it's not going to be an easy fight you know obviously rod things with a great camp with fairtex uh you see what i've done with sam fairtex her winning the world grand prix now she's fighting for the world title uh, against angela lee so i'm going to go out there and fight your first round's going to be tough second round's going to be tough all rounds going to be tough